Hello and welcome to another PM Studios Photoshop tutorial. Today I'm going to be teaching you guys a portrait effect instead of what we normally do. Um, so the first thing you're going to do is you're going to open up the portrait that you want to do. Um, for me it's going to be this picture of this uh, broken down tractor that my friend took. But um, either way. So it's a really easy uh, effect. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to take the background and create a new layer and then take the background copy that we just created and create a new layer with that so we have two background copies. Then we're going to select background copy one and go filter, other, high pass and it's going to have a radius of five pixels and it will look like that if you take off the uh, if you take off the visibility of background copy two. So you're going to do uh, filter or whatever the, uh, the style style is overlay and as you can tell it's already getting pretty gritty so, um, now we're going to turn background copy to visible again. We're going to go to layers, or sorry, image adjustments, and desaturate or control shift U, I believe it is. Yeah, so you can push control shift U. Or on the Macs, or Mac users will have to push command shift U. So, we're just going to set this layer to overlay as well. Now we're going to flatten the image. You can right click on any layer to, to do that. And you're going to create a new layer with that new flattened image. And with that background copy, you're going to push Control F, which will re reapply the high pass since it was the last filter we used. All right, so flatten the image one more time. And normally you could go down here for adjustment layers, but since I'm using a smaller resolution, then my actual desktop, it goes below where the camera is camera goes. So I'm just going to go up here to layer and new adjustment layer and then we're going to do curves. Push OK. And we're just going to bring it up all the way to the top so that it looks really really bright. I don't know. Yeah so it looks really bright. And I'm just going to click on the layers menu, select the curves and push Control I. And that will give you the dramatic gritty effect. You can flatten the image one more time and then it's good to save. Now, hopefully you guys can notice a difference in this one, but I'm just going to pull this out real quick. Actually, no. I'm going to open up the original, and I'm going to open up the one that I've already saved. Alright. So here's the original. And... Uh, well, yeah, here's the original and there is the the one after we're finished so as you can tell it's much more gritty it's much more dramatic <laughs> i guess um what you guys can do is you guys can pick some like defining colors so you can like eye drop the rust for instance and you can get a or just white actually you can push sorry about that push d switch your foreground color to white um, get a brush that's rather small and has a 0% hardness and you can just brush things so that there's more uh, more detail on them but it really works on pressure and you really have to have a very light amount of pressure you could also like get a blue a good looking blue and define this piece right here um, that's only for definition if you want it but personally in my opinion this picture looks perfect without any definition anywhere so I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Um, please comment, rate, and subscribe, the, uh, the usual stuff. And don't forget to visit us at pmstudios.com. Thank you.